Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and uh, we've got more beer to drink, and a lot more than usual, but that's because people, as a part of our community brew, have sent us more beer, and it's uh, time to drink them. Um, so what we have here is from three different brewers, just to complicate things, yeah. they share the first name, um, but we'll, 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to get through it. Um, this... Uh, is actually a, a fancy beer from Texas. This is Steve from Texas, and uh, he actually made a label based on one of the uh, like one of the still frames from one of our YouTube videos. And uh, we look a little demonic, but it works. Uh, he did. Uh, he wrote a little note saying he took the liberty of using our likeness for the uh, label, and we appreciate that. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Uh, Steven. Steven from Rhode Island, he also did a brown ale. Um, and he actually wrote to us via Facebook and talked to us. I think he's part of a, um, a group, uh, sorry, a, a homebrewing club in Rhode Island because he was asking if uh, it was, if he would, if it would be okay with him sharing that with his homebrew club. And we of said, course. of course, that's fine. That's what the community is all about. We are all brew dudes. True that. And then lastly, uh, our friend Kenny. Some guy named Kenny. <laughs> Some guy named Kenny. Um, and so Kenny, uh, where is he from? Oh, you're going to kill oh, wow. him. He lives in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And so Kenny from West Virginia, who's sent us things before and yep. is uh, good friends of the much channel. A, much appreciated. Uh, he also sent his brown ale. And Steve? Uh, Stephen, Stephen Kenny. No, no. Yeah, Steve, Stephen, Kenny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. You got. You worried about me because I, I know, said I was worried now before I'm, the camera. I'm extremely worried and we're going to confuse this. All right. So let's start with uh, the one from Texas, yes. left no, to right. Just, we're not make we're, 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 we're tasting all three of these. Because they're Not to put them against each other. Hell no. But just to honor the fact that. We, we have, have so much beer. generosity. <laughs> we have this beer, we gotta drink so it. we're gonna taste it, and we're That's gonna right. we're gonna enjoy it. I've already enjoyed it. <laughs> Good for you. Okay, so if we want to talk about a little bit of the difference, uh, Steve's brew, he's using um, glacier hops in this mm, because okay. as he put, why not? Uh, he said, I can't take all the credit for the special roast. Uh, there were several, so he consulting with the guy at the local homebrew shop. Uh, the 340 Love was chosen the winner. Yep. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, choice of yep. special roast um, malt. And then uh, he tells a little about his um, his mashing and all that stuff. But I think the big things that what I wanted to see what yeast strain he used. I don't see it right off the bat. But um, what's your th what's your takeaway from this? Oh, I'm sorry, Mangrove Jacks yeah. Liberty Bell M36. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one. Um, I'm familiar with Mango Jack, but um, it's interesting. Mm. This beer has a little more, the yeast character is a little bit different here. It's a little bit. Um, it's got a nice caramel taste. Yeah, though. yeah. That is, that is for sure. And I don't know, if, like, we, I've brewed with Glacier before, but. It's fairly dry, but the yeah. caramel is there. There's a, a smoothness to the whole thing, like. Um, there's a yeast smoothness to it that I mm -hmm. like. It's sort of, um, I can't really describe it. It's a... <laughs> yeah. What is that flavor? It's good. It's good. I really like it. I think it's toffee. Kind of yeah, like there's a, a lot of toffee. Thing, yeah. I don't get a lot of uh, toast, Yeah. but the toffee's really nice. Um, yeah, I noticed he mentioned uh, using RO water because his... Um, his Dallas water is pretty good, but he prefers to try to work with our water, which is, I think, the same thing we do here. Uh, our water is pretty good, that, yeah. with the exception of a couple of issues, but it's pretty good. But we, I tend to use RO, too. So. True that, at this point. Well, this thanks, nice. Steve. Yeah, it's very nice. Appreciate that. And uh, brew on. There's just a light, subtle bread quality to it. Mm. Now, this is uh, Stephen from Rhode Island, and his uh, recipe is actually pretty close to... The one we posted. The only thing he couldn't get was the uh, chocolate malts. I think we posted at a 450 yeah. love. He was only able to get a 350 love. So it's probably like a breeze American chocolate. Probably. Uh, starting gravity was 1054. Final gravity was 1018. 
and uh, he used ESB yeast, the Danstar ESB dry yeast. Yeah. It's supposed to be the Fuller's strain. There's a, a fruity ester quality in the aroma and the flavor, which is definitely what I remember from that mm. ESB strain. Yep. Um, I think the ESB strain does really well in ESB. Ha ha ha. But, um, but this one has got a more of a, I can taste the American chocolate in it, or yeah. at least the 350 chocolate. No, I agree. That's a big takeaway from yep. what I'm getting. Um, caramel notes are, are present, but it is like a milky chocolate. It's like a milk chocolate, yeah. and I think that the, it's not so much caramel as much as it, it really is, I can taste it as like crystal malt. Yep. Um, which is really pleasant, really nice, and it would make sense that that Fuller's strain has been forced Oh, you know, to be what it is, it's making this taste like English crystal malt, chocolate malt in there. It's good. Not as bready um, as other examples we've had, but sure. but it's but it's nice. It's very pleasant. Very good. Sorry, I'm I'm looking to see if I can bring up Kenny's. Yeah, it's got a nice mouthfeel. Yeah, it was nice very nice. Feel. So, so there is but Stephen. Yeah, for me that the fruity ester quality might be a. A little bit strong, but um, who knows? It's good. That's it's good. really good. All right. I know now, Kenny. He was one Kenny. of your swap partners. Yep. Send it to me, um, and I'm getting my stuff together. Yes, yes, yes. You are getting your stuff together in more uh, ways than one. <laughs> so, do you remember what he uh, put down for uh, his uh, take on the recipe? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right there, there we go. There we go. Let's see if I can open up this. Um, looks like he used Golden Promise for the uh, mm. for the base malt, uh, Crystal Forty, Chocolate Three Fifty, Victory, and Biscuit. So instead of Special Roast, he used those. Yeah. Uh, Hella Tower. Uh, Hella Tower. Yep. Yeah, for the hops. Yeah. And let's see, um, filtered water um, for that. <clears throat> Just seeing. Yeah, oh yeah, and then the um, the, the yeast was Safeel SO4, which okay. Let's see, because I know somebody else who used that exact same yeast. Strain. Yeah, I'm staring at Kenny's bottle. It says bottle conditioned SO4. There you go. Um, well, that makes sense. There's a difference. There's there's a bit of tinge of the SO4, not as strong as what mine was. What you had, yeah. I think. I mean, you tell me. Um, the hop character, those Hallertau right. aren't very strong. There's there's not much hop character, mm. which is fine, it's a brown ale, I could care less about it, but it could use a little more balance hop character wise. Um, there is a little bit more bitterness to this beer, yeah. and I wonder if that is because of the hops. Um, you think you get more bitterness in this? Well, just the the hop present presents itself a little bit different. Like yeah. these are are certainly a little more malt. Uh, these are malt, more malt. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know if this is. Um, so this is what I take. I don't. Yep. I don't get the Hallertau. I don't really get much hot presence, but I think the Golden Promise is a little bit more mild than what you're getting in these two beers. Okay. I think that's where the There's perception of balance comes from. I see. And having tasted them sequentially like this, as opposed to just diving into yep. this one or so, I mean, it's not. It's not bad. It's actually more. It's almost a little bit more like dark mild esque. Yeah. I wonder if it's also because the other two, they, I, they believe, I believe they did use special roast, mm -hmm. and then the victory and biscuit. Yeah. Are when, you, when you said that, I can definitely taste yeah. the, the hole in the recipe, right? Difference. That special, yeah. yeah, there's a difference. It's not a n negative thing, but having sampled yours, mine, these with, you know, this is interesting. Yeah. There's a hole in that, a little bit of that toast punch. Mm. Uh, with this, if you can't get special roast, I would just like up the biscuit, right? Uh, up the biscuit a little bit more. But again, this is highly drinkable here. Yeah, very. <laughs> uh, dangerously so. I mean, I wouldn't be ashamed to drink a lot of those. So, no. The color on three beers is almost the same. I think Stevens is yeah, a little bit darker. I don't know if anyone can I, I got a picture of it. I got a picture oh, of it. So. Yeah, but it's they're pretty much the same. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's, that's amazing. They hit it. But again, you know what? Three very different beers. Yeah. Similar theme. Similar. I mean, the recipes are different, but similar theme. Um, but they express very themselves different. differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice, man. Yeah. Good. Maybe I'm putting too much salts in my RO with the SO4. Maybe. But then, again, when we tasted it on camera and then we tasted it a week or two yeah. later, yeah. 
that SO4 character kind of settled out. Yeah, I it's relaxing it just, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I don't know if it's just if it's just settling out of the keg to like physically like the SO4 yeast setting out of the keg. Yeah. I don't know if, and I know, I think the last video we had talking about the computer, I think we'd said like that was it, but like it just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, sorry if this is a retread, but uh, it's just amazing that, yeah. again, you put out a recipe and uh, you swap with a few people, they send it back, and you can line a ride up yeah. and like three great takes on the recipe, uh, slight differences between all three beers, yeah. but certainly like each of them, would, I'd be happy to have. Um, a pint of in front of me for sure. Yep. Um, good. One last note. I actually entered one of my bottles into a competition, the Nord East uh, Regional. Uh, I think it's out of uh, Wisconsin or Milwaukee. Um, anyway, I was in desperation mode because I wanted to put it in the competition, and got it got a third prize for uh, English in the English ale category up against eleven other entries. So uh, that's against. Uh, uh, a few that were for like English IPAs or something like that. So yeah. it was nice to see that um, that it kind of that recipe won the day, and you know at least got something. Yeah, some some award for it. <laughs> you know, so cool. All right, so that's the. Uh, so we're making real beer here. Is that the fun? No, we, we have one last video. It's the collage. The collage is coming together. <laughs> it's just a lot of little bits and clips, and I got a change format. I don't think you understood what you were up against. No, I guess said, I didn't. When you shot it out, like, it's hey, really, send us your videos. It's really been the inability to sit down and in the, the bulk of time I need. It's one thing when I've got, like, a handful of clips that we shot that I have to suck in and do it. Hmm. Um, it's another thing altogether, getting them all together and getting the formats right so I can put it all together. So, nice. and, uh, you know, personally, I just haven't had the time. Every time I sit down and start pulling formats, I'm like, oh my gosh, and I have to, I just don't have the time. So now I'm I'm done for the year now. So <laughs> I'm gonna sit down and do it on the next couple of days. Excellent. And then hopefully early in the new year, if not the new year, we'll get the thing out the door. Excellent. Cool. As well as my beers before the, before the <laughs> beers, are, I get, have to get uh, my brownie out. The yes, door. I gave you all the shipping supplies. We have, you we need. have the technology. Yeah, yes, we do. All right, for John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel and um, leave a comment again i mean it's tremendous as you can reach out through this camera lens and then you know put out something on the internet and you know get back beer so for that cheers and brew on, brew on. <laughs>